Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about WD My Passport external hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. For this case, the printed circuit board number is 2060-800069-001, revision P1. The hard drive model number is WD10SDZW-11UMGS0. It is a 1 terabytes WD My Passport external hard drive. Part 1 Printed Circuit Board Repair. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. 3. Repair the printed circuit board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. Fixing the hard drive printed circuit board method 2. The printed circuit board swap. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. The printed circuit board firmware transfer. Printed circuit board swap step 1. Find the correct donor printed circuit board. Find out the hard drive brand name and the model number on the hard drive front label. Find out the printed circuit board number of the hard drive. The picture 1 shows the printed circuit board number location of this model hard drive. Different printed circuit boards the printed circuit board number locations are different. Picture 2 shows some printed circuit board number locations of the different PCBs. If you want to find out your own PCB number, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com which lists most of the PCB information in detail. Go to www.hdd-parts.com In the search box, input the hard drive model number and the PCB number and go search. The correct donor printed circuit board is found. This is the first step. The next step is printed circuit board firmware transfer to make the donor printed circuit board work on the original hard drive. Printed circuit board swap step 2. Printed circuit board firmware transfer. Printed circuit board firmware is the information on the printed circuit board, maybe in the memory chip or in the main chip on the printed circuit board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the printed circuit board firmware transfer before swapping the printed circuit board. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work 
on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. One, the printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. Two, hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. Three, we can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board firmware transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board's BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. 2. We fix the PCB board. 3. 
will ship back the PCB board to the clients. PCB board repair method 2. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own PCB board. Fixing the hard drive printed circuit board method 3. Repair the printed circuit board. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the hard drive printed circuit board. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives. Because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board, this is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer the connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time is the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. This picture shows the common methods to fix a broken USB connector. Method 1. Swap the printed circuit board. Technical level, easy. Requirement, the donor board. Method 2. Use the SMD rework station to fix the broken USB connector. Technical level, medium. Requirement 1. Donor board 2. SMD rework station Motor contact loose problem Symptom The motor can spin but cannot reach its full speed Cause Loose motor contacts Solution Resolder replace the loose contacts or Replace the PCB. Motor IC problem. Symptom. The motor IC is overheat or the hard drive does not spin. Possible reason. The motor IC is bad. Solution. Replace the motor IC. Note. Replacing the motor IC only can fix the bad motor IC problem. If the hard drive PCB other part got problem or the hard drive itself got problem, replacing the motor IC will not help. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem? 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom. The hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different way to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. 
there is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. Overheat is a common problem of hard drive PCB boards. Solutions 1. Cool down the hard drive by fan or other cooling devices. 2. Replace or fix the PCB board. This picture shows the two main contributors to the overheat. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. How do we cool down the heat contributor IC from the outside? Step 1. Heat transfer pad preparation. Peel off the protection sheet from both sides of the heat transfer pad like the picture 1 shows. Step 2. Prepare a heat sink like the picture 2 shows. Step 3. Put the heat transfer pad onto the heat sink like the picture 3 shows. Step 4. Put the heat sink to the heat contributor IC area on the PCB like the picture 4 shows. Disk firmware corruption symptom the hard drive spins fine but the computer cannot see the hard drive and even the software based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason disk firmware corruption recommendation try disk firmware repair tools like PC three thousand or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. Disk assembly physical damage problem. Symptom The hard drive makes clicking, buzz, or other weird sound. The hard drive is not accessible by any computer. Possible reason Disk assembly physically damaged. Recommendation Try class 100 clean room disk assembly repairing. Do not open the hard drive in any open area like home or office. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk assembly physical damage. <laughs> Common disk assembly problems. The hard drive disk assembly could be damaged by shocking, overheat, power surge, and many other reasons. The common symptoms of disk assembly problems are 1. The hard drive makes clicking, 
buzzy or any other weird sound. 2. The hard drive does not spin. 3. The hard drive spins, but not detectable. 4. The hard drive is detectable, but with wrong size and not accessible. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients.